there, everyone, and welcome. Let me know if you can hear me. Let me know if you can see the slide. Good, Kathy? <coughs> Go ahead, you can introduce me now. Do you want to introduce me or? <coughs> Excuse me. Thank you so much for that introduction. Welcome, everyone. Uh, my name is Melissa Armo, and I own the Stock Swoosh, and I'm going to talk to you tonight if you're interested in learning more about how you can earn a living trading, specifically day trading. Uh, occasionally, we do options, but for the most part, these are day trades. You're in, you're out. You're in after 9.30, and you're out every day before 4 o'clock Eastern Time. Most of the trades that we do are also in and out very quickly in the first half an hour, hour of the day. I find that it's a very profitable time to trade, okay? So it is possible to trade for a living, and that's what we're going to talk about. You have to be very focused on what you do. If you have any questions, you can reach out to me. This is me. You can feel free to email me or watch me on Fox Business or Fox News. Uh, you can give me a call at 929-3200-GAP. And again, you can email me at melissavastockswish.com. Uh, you can also follow me on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, or Skype. So... Right now, we're in a period where, I'd say maybe the last five to six months, the market has been very lucrative uh, because it has had a lot of volatility and a lot of momentum. So when you have momentum and volatility in the market, guess what? If you know how to trade, you can make money. If you don't, you will lose. So it's been one of those times, and right now also it's earnings season too, where there's a lot of opportunity out there in the market. And the opportunity could be playing the market itself, or it could just be looking for different stocks every day, okay? So I'm really focused mostly on trading the first half an hour of the day, sometimes an entire hour, but I do prefer to be out in the morning. Uh, that's just something that I do. Now, it's not to say that I won't hold a trade. If it takes longer for a trade to go, then I will wait it out longer than the first hour, but I really prefer to be in and out very quickly in the first beginning part of the day. So I talk to a lot of people about trading who have who call me or email me, and they've been attempting to trade and failing at so far at trading. And they ask me questions about what I do and the strategy that I trade and teach. You can earn a living trading. So how? How can you do it? I get this question all the time. How can you make money in the market? How is it possible? You have to get the direction right in the stock that you're trading or the market, if you're trading in a market ETF. For example, this was a trade from, from back in January. This is a red bar, so the stock price dropped in here. If you shorted this, you made money. If you got the direction right, which was what? It was down. If you went long this in here, you lost money. Simple, okay? So how do you make money in the market? You have to get the directional bias correct. I mean, it's really just that simple. Because if you don't, if something is against you in the opposite direction, you're going to lose. So I created a system and a method, and that's what we're going to talk about today, where I focus on predicting what a stock is going to do before it happens to know to take it in what direction. I predict if something's going to go higher, in which case you'd go long. I predict if something's going to go lower, in which case as an active trader, then you would short it or buy a put if you did an option, okay? So you've got to have the right strategy to be able to predict the directional bias in what you're trading. Because if you don't, you're going to lose. Because most people lose because they don't get in the right way. They're going long stocks that are dropping, okay? They're taking things in the opposite direction. So you've got to have the right strategy to trade. Now this is a smaller miniature chart of the one I just showed you. Back from January, there was a day trade. We entered here and we got out here. You could have also entered it here and got out here. This was a short, okay? But I saw this here in the pre-market before this bar occurred, before it actually transpired. In the pre-market, this is what you come if you wanted to learn my class and learn from me, I predicted that this would happen, okay? Now, where you get out once it starts to go is up to you. Again, as I said, I prefer to get out in the morning. So this is the morning. This is the open here at 9.30. This is 10 a.m. Eastern Time, okay? 
So how, again, how can you make money in the market? How can you do this for a living? Consistency. It's the consistency is in not just your money management, but your strategy. Money management is you're going to risk the same amount of money in each trade. Uh, consistency also was required, though, in this strategy. You can't do 10 different things, 10 different days of the, or 10 different trades of the six and a half hours the market is open in any given day or five days a week the market's open. You have to be consistent. So I look and only do for one thing every day and I have for 10 years. So that is one of the reasons for why I'm successful, okay? So you have to be consistent if you're going to do this for a living. And quite frankly, I believe you have to be consistent if you're gonna make any money at all. Most people lose that attempt to trade because some, some people are not disciplined and they have poor money management, but really a lot of people don't know what they're doing in the strategy. And the strategy is what tells me something is a long or a short, okay? So day trading is a nice job. It's a great job if you know how to trade. If you don't, then it's not fun. So then why do it? So it's kind of like you have to decide, are you serious about doing this? Are you serious about making money? If you are, you can do it. Most people don't take it serious enough. They dibble dabble around. They jump from webinar to free webinar to trading room trial and all over the place. They never really invest the time and effort and money and energy into doing it. And, and it's the seriousness about it that, re that you have to have to have the consistency because you, you will want to be distracted doing lots and lots of other things. You'll get 100 emails a day about different things. The consistency is key. Key to making money at all, key to earning a living. It's the focus, okay? Any questions so far? So think about this. Does your trading, does your schedule allow you to trade in the morning between 9.30 and 10? Because that's when you'd have to be available to take the trades. If you wanted to trade my system, it's right into the open. Also, we're, we trade very fast, okay? We're in and out quickly. If you have a passion or interest in the market, you may be interested in learning how to trade for a living. Again, it's convenient. You can work from home. Or if you have an office, you can take a laptop. You could do it too if you want to trade on a laptop in the morning at your office and then do your regular job to you transition into a full-time trader. But the full-time trader thing doesn't mean that you're trading every day till four o'clock. It just means you're available Monday through Friday or at least four days a week. And do you want a new career that offers unlimited income potential? So it's one of these things where if you really, really, really are serious about doing this and want to get serious about doing this, you can do it, okay? So it's about the focus. If you're focused on being successful, focused on a, one strategy that you have conviction in, that you believe in, focused on having the right money management, you can be successful. The reason many people are not is because they're not focused. They'll take a trade that they say is a long and then they'll flip it and go short. Or they'll take a trade and then they think it's short and they'll flip it and go long. I never go long and short the same stock on the same day ever. Never, 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 never. That's a big no-no. It's a disaster. You have no conviction in anything when you do that. I also don't do any other thing other than gaps, which is my strategy, which I'm going to talk about tonight, okay? But ultimately, one strategy is all you need to be successful in the market. You do not need a general overall broad-based view to make money. Tons of people have that and fail all the time. I mean, some people even take the time to read earnings reports and all kinds of stuff and study fundamentals and all kinds of things and PE ratios and all that stuff, and you don't need it. All you have to do is read the price action. Learn how to read institutional money and price patterns in gaps. That's what I do. I'm going to talk about it more in a minute. And you don't need to do anything else. I'm predicting the price action. And I'm looking at institutional money because that's what moves stocks in the market. Okay? So I read price. I read price action in gaps. I see movements ahead of time and charts that gap. And that's called what? It's called price forecasting. So price forecasting is the use of historical data to determine the direction of future trends. That's what I do. Okay? So I look at something and I predict where it's going to go. And that is how you can make money. I'm predicting where the institutional buying or selling is going to come into the stock. So when I look at the gap, I have a system that rates the gap based on a checklist. That is telling me that the institutions are going to come in in a big, big way. Again, either long or short, either up or down, selling or buying. Okay. Now, what do I mean by institutional money? Hedge funds, big banks, 
they are the ones that take big positions in stocks and move them. So if if, if all of us took a position in, in something, we wouldn't move the stock, at least if it had decent volume. I'm not talking about penny stocks or things that have no volume. I'm talking about things that, that, that would be uh, something that you would trade. And I don't ever suggest anyone trade penny stocks or junk. The stocks that we trade are symbols and companies that you would recognize and know. And they're traded by institutions in the market, okay? They move them. And again, you can make money. Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. I, had my, I didn't have my phone turned off. Just let me turn it off. Hold on. It's going to keep ringing. I apologize. Uh, you can make money going long or you make money shorting, selling. And you make money going long, buying. That comes in from institutional moves. So it's very, very important, okay, to understand how a stock moves, what makes a stock move. Big money makes a stock move, okay? Not traders, not little traders, big professional traders, of course, but those aren't the people that you're receiving emails from on a daily basis. The traders that are big professional traders, you don't know, you don't hear from, you never will know them, okay? People like working on desks at Goldman Sachs, things like that, all right, big funds. They take positions in stocks. They buy positions. They sell positions. Sometimes they even short, okay? So getting back to the price forecasting, I forecasted, and we're going to look at this on the chart in a, in a minute here. This was an option call, but I'm using this as an example because I'm trying to make a point about the forecasting. Once you learn how to do this, you can do it for swing trading, day trading, options trading, anything at all. So I forecasted the time of the day here is 914 of February 11th that the market, this is the SPY, okay, would move higher. I called a option trade to buy the calls at 272. Now, let's take a look at that here in the chart. Here is the 11th. So before in the open, at 9.15 in the morning, whatever time it was, I predicted the SPY would do this. Now the high today was, we almost got up to 276. So we hit this target, this target, this target, this target, this target. It went past this target. It, the trade is still on if you're still in it doesn't expire to 222 you you probably might be out because it had such a big move and it was a very profitable trade again this is an option but the point I'm trying to make is that I predicted this would happen and it did now how did I do that I'm not a psychic it seems like I am a little bit I think to my students because I predict things so well people are that are trading with me however it's because I rate gaps. I have a system where I rate gaps. I rate gaps in the pre-market and that tells me where it's going to go. It's called price forecasting. So I do a lot, a lot of that every day, all the time. Options trades, swing trades, day trades. This is like something that I do all the time. And whenever it happens, it's amazing and not surprising because I've been doing this for 10 years. So it's like I could see into the future that this would go there, and it did. That's how you can make money. So what do most people do? They don't know what to do. Or they're going with the crowd. Or they're looking for higher highs and higher lows to go long, or lower lows and lower highs to go short. They're reading pivots. They're reading moving averages, which I do have on my charts. But that doesn't tell you, that doesn't forecast institutional buying or selling. Does that make sense? Now, I'm just going to quickly run through it. I want to spend a lot of time on this. And all the ticker symbols we traded so far this year. Now, I've been sick this year. I actually have been sick for six weeks. I'm finally starting to feel better. Finally. Finally on the men. But some of the days in here I was off or the room was closed because I was, I was sick. Anyways, you can go and look at all these here. I'm taping this, this webinar tonight. But you see that most of the days we only do one sticker symbol, maybe two. There were some days in here. The 30th was a rough day. We got stopped out in two things in the morning. And I ended up trading all day that day to come back. It worked out. 
But you can see the most easiest, best days are the days we do one thing. And then this was this past week, and then here was today and this week. So, so far this year, considering the time that I've been sick and haven't been able to do anything, it's been a good start to the year. Six weeks into the year, and I missed about two of them, okay, because I was sick. So, good start, strong start to the year. And how do I do it? I look at what stocks are gapping in the morning, and I rate them. And I use a 26-point checklist. Again, let's get back to the consistency point that I was talking about. This is how you be consistent. If you have a strategy and a system to trade, what do you do? You get up in the morning and you do it. You get up in the morning, you follow it. You don't question it, you believe in it, you do it. You don't change it, you don't deviate from it, you don't make up different rules. You get up, you follow the system, you do it, okay? And that's what I do. And this is the only thing I've ever done, and it's the only thing you need, okay? I've called the market extremely well, which is one of the hardest, hardest, hardest things to predict. And I've been accurate with it for a long time now, and I'm getting even better at it, if that's even possible, but I am. And it's one of the hardest things to do. And the reason that I'm good at it is because of my gap rating system. Now, we don't trade the market every day, but it is something that is really important because it challenges me, and it would challenge you to really get good at this because then it becomes a lot easier to trade stocks when you see what the market's doing. And by the market, I mean the SPY or the QQQs. Now, sometimes on TV I have to talk about the diamonds, but I prefer in the morning usually look at the SPY and the Qs, okay? Now, I've, got the, I've had this question a lot. What experience do you need and how long does it take to learn? I think you're better off if you don't have any experience. Why? Because if you have experience in the market, you probably learn things that are wrong. I have a student right now that is all in his head about things that he's, he, he's learned from other people and he's messed up in his head about it. If you can come to me with a clean, fresh slate in your mind, you're going to be the best chance for success. If you've learned stuff in the past, you have to flush it down the toilet because it doesn't work. If it worked, you'd be making money. You wouldn't need me. So don't combine other things with what I teach you. Come with a fresh slate. If you have no experience, great, fabulous. You'll probably do terrific. I have a woman that never traded in her life before. In fact, I have a video of her on YouTube. She's doing fantastic. Averaging around $800 or $1,000 a day, and she never traded in her life before she met me and did the class last October. She had two part-time jobs. She quit the one already and gave notice to the other one. So, you know, even though what you're going to learn from me if you come and take my classes advanced, you're going to learn it. You're going to go through the process of learning it. Even if you're new, that's okay. You don't, there's nothing you can do to prepare for what I'm going to teach you because no one does what I do. I'm very unique the way I look at things. You'll see that with the class. It, you can watch a million of my videos. You, you may think you know something, but you won't until you really see the class because it's easy to go back after the fact and say, oh, yeah, I think I see that. But the, but the brilliance and the genius in my system is that I can see it before it happens. And that is where you want to be because that's how you're going to make money. After the fact doesn't help you profit. Sure, you can scalp things or get late trades later in the day or after 10 a.m. or jump in things late. I mean, my God, you could, you could, you could still take this trade if you want to. But it's really, really late. And you're going to pay a ridiculously high price for it, so then that doesn't make any sense. Okay? The, the, what you want to do is put yourself in a position of, uh, of becoming excellent. You want to be at that point where you become an expert too, like me. And you could see it ahead of time too, at the same time I do, or very soon after. So, if you want to do this, commit yourself to day trading. It's not, like I said, you're trading every day from 9.30 to 4.00. You're focused on the morning, 9.30 to 10, 9.30 to 10.15, 9.30 to 10.30. You're in, you're out, you're in, you're out. And if you want to do options, you take the trade and just check on it during the day. See where the price of it is, okay? But what I'm really looking for is a high probability of directional bias for the entire day, ideally. A big move of the day, early confirmation of the bias in the move between 9.30 and 10, and precise entries with follow-through and a good risk-to-reward target potential. Ultimately, I'm trying to get something with a good risk-to-reward. What is that? You risk $500, you make $500. You risk $1,000, you make $1,000. That's what I call a good risk-to-reward. You turn it over once, okay? And same thing with the options. But if you turn it over a half, that's still good, too. If you risk $1,000 and make $500, that's still $500. When many people are losing, that's a good, solid trade. Okay. 
Any questions so far? Now, people come to me with share quantities and the share size. You will take a different share quantity for every trade because the stops are different. I might call a trade that's a 30 cent stop. I might call a trade that's an 80 cent stop. I don't know till the trade's set up. So your share quantity will vary, but the risk should be the same. If you decide you want to risk $500 a trade, it's 500, 500, 500, 500, or close to it. I mean, this is not an exact science. I mean, if you risk 550, that's not the end of the world. But the idea is you don't want to risk a uh, thousand if you only want to risk 500 okay so it really is about being consistent consistency in the risk consistency in the strategy consistency even in the time of the day that you trade and even consistent in that i mean i can make a list of everything that i do that is like a like a, like i'm like i'm a, i'm so regimented do, 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 do. I'm like a regimented soldier. Like that's how regimented I am with my trading. It's like a routine. And if you could be like, oh, I don't know how I could be the regimented. You, if you think about, think about one thing in your life, just one, one thing in your life, every human being, because human beings really are very structured. You may not feel like you are, think that you are, but you are. If you would like go back in your mind about your whole day today, everything you did from the time you woke up until now, you probably, have a structure that you don't even realize you have a structure usually our bodies are in a certain body clock we go to bed at a, usually at a certain time we get up usually at a certain time we have meals at a certain time usually i mean we we really people are very structured and you can be structured with your trading it's just about getting into the routine it's like exercise if you've ever uh the beginning of the year is a time a lot of people go in exercise programs a lot of people die at the beginning of the year after the holidays January, February, it's where you see all the commercials on TV for Weight Watchers and South Beach Diet, all these places. It's, it's like being on a diet. You have to be very structured. The diet works if you're structured. If you're not structured, it doesn't work. But it's about getting into routine. Maybe when you start the diet, it's hard. But then once, you start, once you're on the diet for two, three weeks or a month, you said, oh, this is, I could, this is the, it's like a, I do it every day. It's not a big deal, okay? It's the same thing really with, with exercise or anything. So if you've got to get yourself in that structure and it's a routine, but it's really not hard. You're just not doing it. So I'm in a routine now. I'm just like, I don't even have to almost really think. And the funny thing is like, and I'm, I'm serious about saying that when I, like when I make these fabulous calls, like the market, I just get up and I say, oh, poof, there it is. And I can just see it. So the thing is like, and I still do the work. I still do the work. I still rate the gap. But when you get to that point where you're doing something so, so long, it just becomes like part of you. It's like in my blood. But the thing is that I still go through the process, okay? That's where you want to get to the beat of the intuition, to the knowing. I'm very intuitive now about my trading. But it was 10 years to get to this point. Or, I mean, I've been at this point for a while. But how are you ever going to get to that point where you just know that you have to get into a, a routine? And you can't overthink it. And you can't uh skip it and you can't try to squish it or make it up like sometimes we get up in the morning and i rate things that i don't see anything good and i said no nope, it's just not there no 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 there's nothing good today and we don't trade it's like you i can't make a stock move if i wanted to it's just i can't okay and neither can you <laughs> because you're not you're not in control of the market you're in control of yourself you're not in control of the stock you're in control of yourself though and that's a good thing. No one's forcing you to take a trade at all. No one's forcing you to take it whatsoever. All right? So it's really just about that. Any questions? Let's look at Twitter. Twitter was a really nice short. And actually, Twitter had some follow through. Didn't call a put in this, which would have been an option. You could have done it. You could have done a put in this the day of, drop, fell. You could have day traded it for two days. We did it here. First day down. Stop closed here the night before around 34.25. Boom. Open in the morning where? Around 31. So again, what do I do? This is a gap. A gap is the difference between the close and the open. The close was up here. The open was down here. That's what I did. That's what I look at. I look at it in the morning. I predict what the stock's going to do. Is the stock going to get bought? Is the stock going to get sold off? I predicted it would fall. So we shorted it and it worked. Here was the day. This is stock closed the night before up here. Dropped, rallied, boom, fell. Here's the short. Boom. That's all that you need. This is all that you need, 60 cents, 50 cents, a dollar, whatever you can get. 
So anyways, this is a beginner risk. I'm going to show you beginner and advanced here because again, it, it, you know, you may not be able to risk an advanced amount. That's okay. So you want to do this for a living. You got to work it up. You got to work to that point. You got to start with what you have. You can start with a small account. You can still make money with a small account. I don't know why people think they can't. They can. Entry, 3120. Share, 600. Risk, 210. Exit, 3048. Boom. Profit would have been what? $432. Risk to reward is two. This was a really, really nice trade. Why? Perfect entry, great exit. Actually, it fell more than that, like I said, and it fell the second day. You're never going to get out at the low of the day or the high of the day, whether you're short or long. You just take it when you see it, and you take it, and you grade it, and I knew this was a short. If you went long this, you lost. It was a short. The momentum in Twitter on the day was poof, down. Okay? Now, if you were doing this as a person that could afford to take a bigger risk, 2000, 2100, same trade. Entry, 3120, exit, 3048, boom. I mean, look at this money. This is real money, people. We do this all the time. Now, 6,000 shares, you may say that's a lot. Not really. Twitter has millions and millions and millions of shares in it. Even into the open, this is a huge volume of the day of the earnings. Huge. You will get filled in and out. Great trade, great call. Didn't even have to be in it all day. Boom, boom. Let's go back and take a look at it. You took it, got out. Do, do. That's it. Wasn't even 30 minutes, wasn't even an hour. So that's what I look for every day. I get up and I look for it. I get up and I look for it. Do, do, do. All right? And I don't take anything in the pre-market. I don't do anything in the pre-market because you don't know if it's going to set up. So what tells me somebody's going to go is the rating. Twitter rated 21 points. So my system is 26 points. You don't have to have a perfect score. You have to have a score over 20. Over 20 is a good score. 19, 18, 50, 50 chance of working failing. Anything under 18, I'm not touching it. And I can't tell you the last time I did a gap, it was even 18. I want a good score. High odds, high odds if you have a high rating. Low odds if you have a low rating. Make sense? And again, this is the structure. The consistency I had comes from the checklist. Any questions? So this is how you can do it. You can make money if you have consistent results, if you follow the same system, if you do it every day, if you don't deviate from it, and if you have money manager. And the money manager doesn't have to be so crazy strict. You just say, well, I'm gonna risk this much in each trade, and that's what I'm gonna do. So why do people find trading so hard? People are in fear, people have lost in the past, then they get even more in fear, then it makes a big snowball. Okay, I could go on and on, but there are many reasons. Uh, mostly though, people lack focus and clarity. And you can say, well, you know, people lose because they're undisciplined and they don't take risk right. Yeah, that's true. But really, they flat out just don't have a good system so they don't know what to focus on so they're all over the place. They have zero conviction, no clarity and no conviction. Traders are often second guessing themselves. You need conviction to trade well and not only that, to make money. And, 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 not, and, and not only to make a, a living out of doing this, whether it's 20, 40 grand a month, whatever you wanna make, whatever you need, okay? The conviction comes from the knowing, from the knowledge and the belief in it Okay, so you have to have the right knowledge. The knowledge you gain in my class, it's the system. Then you have to put it into practice. And the conviction comes from what? You, you grow, your conviction grows, which is one of the reasons I have a high level conviction, by doing it for a long time and getting green. There's nothing like making money that gives you conviction. There's nothing like a call like this. I mean, this is like a call. When I, every time I do a call like this, my conviction grows. It gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. You can't have too much conviction. You can't be rich enough. You get it? So how, I mean, if you are not even on a path of conviction, you're like nowhere even at the beginning. You haven't even started then, okay? Because if you don't have conviction in any strategy right now that you're trading, you're not even, you need to even get on the road. You're like not even on the road to be successful as far as I'm concerned. And even if you've had a positive day or a positive week, you aren't even on the right road. 
You will never make money for the long term in the market for any length of time or be able to sustain it over weeks and months and years or do it for a career or anything at all that even makes it worth your time or effort because you don't have to do this. You could do something else. No one's forcing you to drink. You can go get a job doing something else, okay, or focus on something else with your free time. If you don't have the conviction in what you're doing, you're not even on the right road. And I can't be any more blunt than that. So what's in store for 2019? Well, the market has been rallying ever since the beginning of the year. I called this well, too. I said not a Santa Claus rally. I said a New Year's Eve rally. We rallied literally the day after Christmas. December 26th, we rallied. Here's the chart of the SPY. We rallied up ever since. We've been rallying almost straight up. Really big move up here for the market in a very short time. Uh, you know, we'll have to see where, how we act now in the next two weeks. There's a lot of news coming up, a lot of uh, things coming up. The shutdown, we don't know if we're going to have another shutdown. The deal with China, we don't know. A lot of things incorporated here that could make a lot of volatility in the market. But guess what? If you know how to trade it right, you're going to make money. A lot of opportunity coming up in the next two to three weeks in the market. And I'm poised to take advantage of that. And you will be too if you learn how to do it from me. The fact is that it's going to be a volatile year in 2019. Absolutely. It seems like it hasn't started out that way because we rallied almost every day. But the fact is, it's coming up. Okay. Trust me when I say that. When I, what I mean by volatility, volatility is you think something's going up, then it goes down. You think something's going down, and you think it's, then it goes up. Okay? But day trading is really not investing. It's, it's a way of producing income. You take the trade, you get up, you get out. You take it, you're up, you get out. You take it, you're up, you get out. Do, do, you chunk it, okay? You are just pulling the money out of the market. It's not like you're taking, it's like not like you're Warren Buffett and you're saying, I'm going to buy Apple and hold it for the next 25 years. That's not what this is. That's not what day trading is. That's not what active trading really is. You're taking money out of the market in daily fast moves. Take it, get out. Your objective is not to make as much as you can and trade all day. You're, you look, find one good trade, take it, get out. Take it, get out. That's it. Okay. You got to look for the daily moves. That's it. That's all you have to do. So I, I say chunk it out because I say look at it realistically. If you're, if you're, if you're like, okay, well, I want to make, you know, 20 grand a month, fine. So that's a thousand bucks a day. But some days you might lose. But then some days you may make $4,000. So you have to look at it like, okay, well, this is my weekly goal. This is my monthly goal. You understand what I'm saying? Because that will help you. If you're so focused on the minuscule trade or day, I mean, there are some days when trades just don't work or we don't get any trades. So you have to kind of be aware of what it is and have miniature goals like weekly goals. I think that's very helpful for people. Any other questions so far in here? But when you're training, a, when, you're, when you're a day trader, you're going to trade a margin. So it's, an, it's not like you're buying this and you're getting a stock certificate in the mail. You're trading on margin. That's what you're doing. If you go to a prop place, you can get 10 to 1 margin. If you go to a retail place, you're getting 4 to 1 margin. If you hold overnight, it's 2 to 1. Okay. And options, there's, they're not margin trades. It's just the cost of whatever the option trade is. But when you're day trading, like the Twitter, you have to have a margin account. You have to be able to short. You have to have charts and you have to have a level two to be able to take the positions on or off, okay? We do not trade penny stocks in the live trading room. And to join the live trading room, you must take my class to learn the system, okay? All stocks reviewed in the system have volume and are actively traded and the price range varies. We really don't do dirt cheap things. I kind of wish today we had done Groupon. I mean, I... Groupon was so cheap, I didn't think to do it, and actually Groupon worked really well. We could have done Groupon, but we didn't. But I, I mean, at a certain point, under really $5, it's rare that I will, I will actually do the stock, short or long, okay? But most stocks are in the mid-price range. So like if you're, if you're, you know, you're trying to make 1000 bucks a day, an average move to get that would be 1,000 shares would be 1,000 bucks of a dollar move. You get 50 cents, if you're trying to make a thousand, you need to take 2,000 shares, and so on and so forth, okay? So that kind of helps you, and you can have a cheat sheet next to you for sizing if it helps you too. But I really want to stress that you can achieve your goals by chunking it out. If you live too much and you're too focused on one train to make your whole week or something like that, 
then or if you end up trading on a day where there isn't anything good and then ended up losing you just dig yourself a hole okay you have to think of it in the bigger picture it's really what you need to do okay now this gentleman is definitely a success story he signed up for the options letter he's made money already to pay for half the letter in the first two days he's doing the class next week as well and then he's going to be in the room too this man is a success story and I have a lot of success stories like that, but this is just the one that happened. He sent me this email yesterday. I mean, it's just like, and he's actually been following me, I think, for over a year, maybe two years on my list, and he finally decided to do it. I mean, and he could have joined two years ago, and he finally decided, and, he, and, and he's doing it. So, I mean, I know I have so many people that have been following me for a long time that are sitting in the sidelines waiting. I don't know why, you know. It's just one of these functions where you have to kind of make a choice how serious you want to be doing this. You can sit and watch me make calls like I do in the spy, which I market on the marketing list like a million, you know, a million times. But it's like you really should just get active if you want to do it. No one's saying you're not going to have a learning curve. You may, but you can ask the questions. And if you don't have any experience at all, that's good. If you have had bad experiences, you will need to flush them down the toilet because a lot of other places have taught things that don't work. You gotta have a good attitude. You gotta have conviction. You gotta listen to me. And he he's done a good job of that. That's why you know he's doing real right away. So he just took the trade and boom, took the trade was up a thousand, got out, took it, got out, took it, got out. That's it. Any questions? quiet group here tonight. I don't have any questions so far. Is anyone there? Is anyone alive? <laughs> Anyways, think about it. If you're interested in trading, you, you don't have to live in New York. Now, I happen to live in New York, but you don't have to live in New York. You don't have to go down to Wall Street. It's very convenient because you can day trade with anywhere in the world with just a computer. Okay? And as I talked about, uh, there's many benefits to trading. We talked about some of the challenges tonight, having the focus and being sucked into doing too many different things, but the benefits are huge. You, you have no limit to the amount of money that you can make once you learn how to do it right. And also, you can do it for the rest of your life. There will always be gaps in the U.S. market because there will always be a close and an open. Okay? Joy's here. Joy, you're on the letter. How did you, or what did you do with the spy trade? Are you still in it? Did you get out? What did you do? Joy's a student. She came tonight. So there are many benefits to trading. The benefits far outweigh any challenges. So I say overcome the challenges. Overcome the challenges that you've had. If you've been unsuccessful in the past, don't let that stop you from being successful in the future. Okay. So it's really about making the decision for yourself that you want to do it and you want to work for yourself. Joy is out already and you made almost $400. Good job. Excellent job, Joy. Wonderful. Good job. So any questions from anyone? You can work from home. And so if you want to come, learn my method. It's called the Golden Gap System. The Golden Gap System is a 26-point professional bearish gap rating system. The purpose of this system is to help you evaluate which gap to trade each morning using a checklist. This checklist tells you what to trade, when, and in what direction, because that's how you're going to make money. You're going to make money when a stock moves higher if you're long. You're going to make money when the stock drops if you are short. The 26-point checklist predicts directional bias in a stock. So this is the checklist. This is it. You would learn it in my class. It's a two-day course. The next class is February 23rd and 24th, 9 to 5 Eastern Time. Cost of the class is $59.99. could be anywhere in the world and take it. Class is online, okay? So if you are anywhere in the world, you just need to be at your computer to take the class. The class is online. You don't have to fly to New York. Deadline, though, to sign up is February 22nd. I'm doing a trends class on the Monday, too. The combo saves you $500. It's $64.99 for the Golden Gap combo. So the Golden Gap is 9 to 5, Saturday and Sunday. And then the trends class is Monday, noon to 4, okay? So really, you have to think about it. It's an, it's an investment in yourself if you want to learn my method. But if you're trading, 
like I said, and don't have conviction in a strategy that you're doing or don't have a strategy at all, that's what you need. You will not be successful until you have it. If you're trading, you're not on the right path unless you have conviction in what you're doing. It is also a lot less stressful when you follow someone. When I'm directing the trades or giving the calls, it makes it a lot less stressful for you to do it. I mean, it, it, it's so much helpful for people when they're listening to me, okay? But it's really the bigger picture that you have to look at where you want to go with your life. Many people would prefer to slowly be in pain, losing a little bit of money slowly day by day and week by week, or making a little bit of money. Losing a little bit, making a little bit, losing a little bit, making a little bit, rather than investing in education up front in one chunk, even though the chunk that, that it costs to, to take my class is one chunk up up front, you learn a lot that you can take it into the future. I don't know why, but for some people, the idea of dragging out the pain across the trade, rather than save themselves time by just paying for education and learning and then beginning making money ASP, people would rather drag it out. I don't know why. So many people would rather go through a slow pain of losing, and sometimes people lose their whole accounts over and over, rather than pay for education. The pain ultimately is a lot less if you just start on the right path and learn and do it, even though you're putting money up front to learn. It's very painful the longer that you lose. It could go on for years and years forever. Some people lose forever in the market and never figure it out, never make, never make any money at all. Slowly losing over 20 years. I, I, I'm, I think I've shared this story before, but one man, he still hasn't done the class. In fact, I emailed him yesterday. He didn't write me back. He lost half his account in September, was going to do the class, told me he didn't have enough money to do my class, but told me he had 20 grand, so he really did. He wanted to try to make more. I don't, I don't know, but he had 20 grand. Traded on his own in the month of September. By October, he had 10 grand. He lost 10 grand in one month. And then he said, again, he didn't have the money to take my class, but he really did. He had $10,000. He probably doesn't have an account at all anymore. I'm guessing. I don't know. I haven't heard from him. I've heard a lot of stories like that. I've heard worse. I've heard, I've heard all kinds of things. If you don't know how to trade, you're going to lose. Doesn't mean you're going to lose every day, but ultimately you will week by week, month by month. Okay. What are you posting there, Kathy? Oh, you just posted Joy's thing, yeah. Anyways, while it's true that not all ed trading education out there is good, I mean, I'm on a lot of lists. I get stuff from people, too. I know it's not all good. I know a lot of it is bad, actually. The problem is that people never are sure if they will learn enough to cover the cost of education to learn anything good. And so people feel like they're losing when they're paying for education very often. So what should people do? And how should people think about making educational choices? I say, go with your gut. Listen to your intuition. If anything that I've said tonight or anything that you've heard me say in the past resonates with you, then listen to your intuition that I know what I'm talking about and sign up and do the class and join. If what I've said doesn't resonate to you or make any sense at all, then maybe I'm not the person for you or this isn't the strategy for you, okay? Many people don't listen to that silent voice within Again, I'm very intuitive. I listen to the voice within myself. I talk to myself out loud. You can't hear me, but I do hear. I live alone. I am very intuitive about my trading and also about choices in my life. I listen to myself. I trust myself. I, I trust myself. If, if my gut tells me something, I trust it. So if you're not in that place with your life where you're even listening to that voice or can even hear that voice within yourself, well, then you're probably out of balance. you got to get yourself in balance and then... You have to start listening to that inner voice that's telling you what to do, okay? And stop being in fear that you're going to make a bad choice. When you listen to that inner voice, you can't make a bad choice. You may go down a road and you may meet new people, learn something new, get new experiences, okay? Don't make choices in fear and don't stay stuck in your life and never make choices at all because you're too much in fear. That was good advice. Anyways, 2019 is here. Ask yourself if you're making the money you deserve. If not, what are you going to do about it? Any questions from anyone at all? You can come and do a trial if you want. I already see some things I'd like to trade tomorrow or tonight. Email me at info at thestockswoosh.com if you would like a trial for the trading room. Some good gaps tonight, which we'll be doing tomorrow. Very excited. It's been a good start to the year, and I'm finally, like I said, on the mend health-wise, even though I still am a little sniffly and coughing. Any questions from anyone at all? I didn't get any questions this whole time. <laughs> the question.
slightest group in the world. If you're interested in the Golden Gap class, it's not this weekend, it's next weekend, the 23rd and 24th. If you'd like a trial before then, email me. And you can email me always at melissa at the stockswoosh.com. All right, very good, everyone. Thank you and have a great night. Thanks, Kathy.